Head smashed in Buffalo Jump, World Heritage Site, in southern Alberta. Today it preserves and interprets thousands of years of Plains Buffalo culture intertwined with the life and history of the natives. Where the foothills of the Rocky Mountains begin to rise from the prairie. You will notice the sheer cliffs at this National Historic Site of Canada. For thousands of years, before there were no horses in North America, native people used dogs for works, transportation, and hunting. They used to camp here in their traditional teepees and hunted buffaloes also known as bisons. The buffalo jump was used for thousands of years by the indigenous peoples of the plains to kill bisons by driving them off this few miles long and 11 meters or 36 feet high cliff. Head smashed in was abandoned in the 19th century after European contact. The site was first recorded by Europeans in the 1880s, and first excavated by the American Museum of Natural History in 1938. It was designated a National Historic Site in 1968, a Provincial Historic Site in 1979, and finally a World Heritage Site in 1981 for its testimony of prehistoric life and the customs of Aboriginal people. Today you will find an interpretive center and museum here opened in 1987. It was built into the ancient sandstone cliff in naturalistic fashion. It contains five distinct levels depicting the ecology, mythology, lifestyle, and technology of Blackfoot peoples within the context of available archaeological evidence, presented from the viewpoints of both Aboriginal peoples and European archaeological science. You will find ample space to park your vehicle just in front of the center. Now let's go inside this beautiful interpretive center and museum and learn more. After the entrance on the right, you will actually find the last or the final level of the museum with a high atrium. This is where visitors should be at the end of their trip before leaving. This level exhibits the uncovering the past shows, the archaeology behind the interpretive center and how to study and learn about the past. You will also find an interpretive theater room at this level. However, let's start from the first level where we are supposed to start our visit. It is actually on the very top floor of this building and we need an elevator to take from the back of this entrance floor. Stepping into the elevator, you will notice interpretive images of the landscape of the head smashed in sight, on the walls of the elevator. This is the third floor of the building. Step out of the elevator and find another elevator to reach the sixth floor. By the way, if you do not want to use the elevators, you can also use the stairs. In such cases, please ask for any assistance at the visitor counter.
After exiting the elevator at the sixth floor you can climb one more floor to the top to observe the real landscape of the Buffalo Jump. At this very top level, you will also find an exit door leading up to the upper clifftop trail. This is where you may observe the cliff, the endless prairie ahead and perhaps you are able to resurrect the past when the natives were hunting the buffaloes. Perhaps for a fraction of a moment the very real landscape may seem quite surreal to our human eyes. Now let us go back to the museum, and visit the very first level of the museum known as the Nappies World. It introduces the visitors to the environment of southern Alberta. It equally narrates the origin of the plains people and how they learned to hunt the buffalo. A floor below the Nappies world, you will find the second level of the museum known as the Nappies people. It exhibits the lifestyle of the Plains people which includes a reconstructed teepee and offers visitors a hands-on approach with a selection of artifacts. At the third level of the museum which is just a floor below the Nappies people, you will discover narratives of the Buffalo Jump sites, including the Gathering Basin, Drive Lanes, and the Cliff. At this level, the ceremonial significance of the hunt is also discussed.
This level also includes a theater showing a film recreates a buffalo drive. Please note that you are not allowed to film or photograph inside this theater. Now, let us delve into the fourth level of this museum. It is called Cultures in Contact. The arrival of the European settlers in these lands, the positive and negative impacts they had on the plains people is portrayed in this level. We found a cafeteria located in the fourth level. It was not serving anything. Please contact the visitor counter for further information. We have already visited the very final level of this museum at the very beginning as soon as we entered the building. At this point, we have finished our visit to the interpretive center and museum at the head smashed in Buffalo Jump in southern Alberta. Please remember that there is a beautiful souvenir shop at the very final level of this building just by the visitor service counter. Before you leave, we highly recommend you visit this beautiful shop. We believe that you have enjoyed this little documentary video. Please stay tuned. We thank you very much for watching.